and welcome to my first uh, Sims build and today I decided to do a lovely little 5x5 uh, five five build for uh, my first on camera tiny build at the moment I'm just trying to work out where I want it and like the placing and it's kind of hard you know I can I can ramble for like 20 minutes but <laughs> You know, it's it's kind of the nervousness that comes for doing something for the first time. So I'm just like placing out a bathroom and I'm like thinking, oh yeah, let's put the bathroom up the front. And then I changed my mind and decided to put it up the back. And I'm like, what's well, a minimum that you can um, make a bathroom? And that's like, you know, basically the two squares for the the shower. And then a square for the toilet and a square for the, the the sink there and depending on whether you need walls around it or not it, it's looking at roughly you know five and a half squares which it does work this five and a half square room and um i put a whole bunch of these tiny room uh, tiny windows up the top because they don't require window. Uh, they, they do, the windows uh, <laughs> don't require um, curtains because they're so high up and they're so little that you can get away with not doing the whole really annoying curtain thing. Um, and of course, at this point, I hadn't picked out where the door was going, and I kind of worked it out in my head, but I still. Um, still put a window in its place and then I'm like okay well I've got to put stuff in and what does a little house need well it needs you know the bathroom and it needs bed and, it, and a little lounge area the table's not really highly necessary because you know there's the couch there and it does two people even if the bed only does one so that means you know one person living there and then a, a guest and there was more than enough room on the little counter um but you know i haven't even built the, the kitchen yet i'm like slowly just plodding around and thinking well is that that big enough and that was my thought right here it's is this um is that space big enough to put a bed so I grab a bed and then I go and grab my favorite swatch of that bed and I chuck it in and go well yes beds are three squares long so perfect perfect sizing there then I'm like can the TV fit up there and not look highly unusual I'm like that looks weird that's not on the wall that one's a bit big but it doesn't look over well it doesn't look too weird not like the white one I think the white one looks like weird because it's so small but still sticks out so far. I'm like, ah, that should work. Not like through the wall, but the couch there should work just fine. Now I'm like starting to panic about the whole bathroom. Is it enough? Is this exactly what people need? And yes, I like play test it later. And um, that was like a perfect size um, tiny bathroom. Just absolutely perfect. And I was so nervous that like, I didn't end up doing as much landscaping as I usually do. So I'm hoping that by the time I've done a couple of weeks of these, because I'm, I'm just gonna have it on the, whatever day of the week this is. Um, Wednesday. Um, this is going to be up on Wednesday, so I'm going to have a, a build video up every Wednesday and I'm hoping that I can learn stuff like speeding up the, the build a bit and uh, not learning how to do better landscaping, but more like be more comfortable in um, letting my landscaping out and on YouTube and I mean, my landscaping's already all over Twitch, which I stream on Twitch six days a week. Um, 
it's free some days um a pokemon day a discord pick saturday and um well, a retro day just to liven things up you know so it's like six videos on on youtube and six live streams on twitch every week And here I forgot that I had um, counters off. And I'm like, that, that corner counter's enough for preparing foods. So that's like more than enough. And I'm like, I'm not going to go with the big expensive uh, stove that I normally go to because it didn't really match the, um, the fridge that I put in. And again, I forgot about the whole um, auto counters off thing just there. And then I'm like putting that in and I go to I put the smoke alarm in, of course. And I'm like, what else to do there? And I'm like, oh, what about a microwave? That would make it really easy for some lovely, nice, quick meals. So I grab the microwave and I chuck it up there and I'm like... Not even even noticing that the color scheme is purple and green um, at the moment, but that's fine. I mean, it's not like awful or anything. And I'm like circling, going, um, "What's missing? That it feels like there's something missing here. What could possibly be missing apart from you know wall coverings and floor and you know the basic stuff." I'm like, oh yeah, a bookshelf could be handy in this place. I'm like, where is this bookshelf going to go? What bookshelf am I going to pick? And then I'm like, look here. <laughs> I go past all these custom um, books that I don't even use because I basically make stuff for other people. Like stuff that I want up on the gallery. And all those books, they look cool. But I'm not sure if I'm going to end up keeping them. I mean, that's that's honestly, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it. Then I'm like, I don't really like this. Can can I fit this so that the TV and the bookshelf look good? Um, uh, I think I'm going to get it in a second. I'll get a rug. No, I didn't quite get it yet. Okay, so it's like time for this rug. And it's grab this rug time and I'm picking one because I usually, I, I really like the rugs in this section. I'll grab this purple one because I've got purple. And it's a wrong purple and I know it's a wrong purple. But I like chuck it in and I'm like, oh, okay. But it doesn't. Yeah, there's something off. I'm not sure what's off, but there's something off right now. And then I'm like, all right, I haven't done roof yet. So I wanted to do this um, kind of uh, flatter roof, kind of more one-sided. Um, and I was thinking of like going over one and then doing the lovely shift thing. Then I thought, you know, that's not going to look all that good. So I just stuck with the straight up, you know, fiber over. Um, and then I decided to um, have like a little veranda there and just um, that tiny bit outside. I thought that would... Um, thought that would be, be nice to have it like undercover so there and I'm like really happy with that because it looks like it, it all fits in and then I grab some uh, columns so it actually looks like there's something holding that weight up of the the roof there and then I'm, I'm like, oh, yeah, I've got to attack this now. All these 
wonderful um, floorings. So I grab uh, paneling for the the roof. I like how it's I, I get the roof like slightly different. In this case, big time different. And then I go over to the bricks and grab uh, one of my favorite brick patterns and. Um, yeah, it's quite a contrast, but I like it, and I think I might have um, changed the pattern of the roof if I thought about it a bit more. And of course, I had to sit here and go, well, what matches? Um, I want something that matches what's there and not like stand out and be all gaudy and awful and. And I'm thinking like, you know, I'm almost done now. But of course I'm not. Like, I'm just like trying to make it look all nice. I haven't even got into the house yet. Um, now I'm like, I don't like the door there. I want the door on the other side right there. So I, I move the, the window over and the door over so that um, I can have it like that. And um, pick some lovely stairs so people can actually get into this house because, you know, it is fully playable and will be, at the time of this video, um, up on the gallery. And I'm like, well, I've changed all that round. So maybe I'm not quite happy with um, the inside. And I realized, oh wait, I haven't done floors or, or uh, walls inside. So I, I get stuck into that and um, I um, go looking for something that matches because you know I'm all about having stuff that matches and that's not something that often happens in The Sims. Like those two are supposed to match but I, I'd prefer if they matched um, a little different. I mean they do but I like the colors not quite the same um, and then I'm like okay well I've done a lot of purple so I'm gonna grab this purple wall and I love the purple and then I'm, I'm here and I'm contemplating doing a fancy um, flooring throughout the room and I'm like well I've really left it too late so I'm just gonna do the plain one direction uh, floor here like I'm I'm really happy at how half of this has turned out um, I don't really like how the lounge has turned out and how the bed looks like it's all squished in the corner there so I'm I'm actually like moving the bed now and the couch over and um, I'm trying to like spread things out a bit so that um, it's not like all clustered and it looks not all that um, aesthetically pleasing of course we need we need that uh, 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 <laughs> we need stuff to look aesthetically pleasing I know it really gets to me but I learned how to say it recently so it's the whole bunch of I'm gonna say it over and over until it don't sound like the right word anymore <laughs> Uh, but of course I changed the swatch of the bed so it's more of a pink and it fits in with the purple more than the green did. Um, although I'm still really happy about the, um, I love the green, uh, I love green with purple. Um, oh yeah, this is when I realized I had no lights. So I'm like, ah, yes, lights. Um, important, lights. So I'm like, I don't really want to go with the same one that I always tend to use, but I did and I went and grabbed these because they give such um, an awesome amount of light and I didn't really see um, how much light it gives at night time, but I know that those lights do give a lot of light. Um, same with these ceiling lights that I end up using for the rest of the build. Um, and there it looks like I've just found them 
So we're going to put in some lovely ceiling lights. Um, and I, I'm pretty much done inside. Sort of decorate a little bit. Um, I forgot a sink in the kitchen, but that's fine because I've got one um, out. Um, out. I've got one in the bathroom. And I did forget a bin, but that's fine because I always forget a bin. Uh, but I did think about some picture here. I'm like, let's look at the pictures and put some pictures on the wall so it's not like just bland and boring and, you know, want to kind of make a bit of an impression here. It's my first um, build that I've recorded for YouTube and just stuck with it. And then I'm like, oh, why don't I put one on one side and one on the other and put something different in the middle? And of course, I had to like even them out and then grab another picture I thought would fit in the middle, like aesthetically. I went, yeah, that would fit, but it's too big. And now we've got to pick the right um, picture, the right, the right swatch of this. So I go and pick um, the desert one. I thought that would fit in quite nicely. And um, yeah, I'm quite happy with uh, how it turned out inside, except for the missing the um, the bin entirely. No, I think I did a bin outside. We'll have to wait and see because I forget this bit. Um, I do know that I remembered a I I remembered a letterbox. So, because I remember the letterbox, it's a good chance I did, in fact, remember an outside bin. Which is better than no bin at all. And I'm like, uh, that goes out a little bit. But then I'm like, well, yeah, it goes out just the right amount of, uh, of um, space so that I can use this and um, just surround the house with this lovely little hedge um, right here. Um, and they can overlap a little bit if it's not quite as long as it, it needs to be. And I'm just making it look kind of nice. It's not over the top and I kind of wish that I'd spend a bit more time on it. Um, and then I get around to the corner here and I'm like, well, yeah, nothing's going to fit there. So I'm like trying some other things and I'm like, uh, nothing fits. And I really don't like that nothing fits. Um, so I grab, just grab this uh, bulbous bush here that I chucked there, um, and then went, you know what this place is missing? Well, actually a few things, but you know what's missing? It's missing a path. So I, I decided to just paint one. Of course, I went and grabbed something. I don't even remember which one it was. Oh, it was that one. I like painted a path the best I could, which actually looks pretty straight if you ask me. Okay. <laughs> um, and here is where I pick out the letterbox. Um, and I do pick a bin, which is excellent. And I hope uh, you all enjoy this build that I did. Um, uh, I hope you all have an amazing day and um, I will see you all uh, tomorrow. Okay, have a nice day.